Hey guys, Jace Bosman here. I've been getting a lot of questions via email specifically about longer axle to axle bows and if they're truly functional out of a tree stand and out of a ground blind. So today I've got Prime's Logic CT5. We're going to go down to the tree stand. We're going to climb in. We're going to shoot some arrows and we're going to see how well this bow maneuvers out of a tight tree stand. Then we're going to go jump in the ground blind. So let's head down there. Well, here we are guys, 18 feet up, a less than straight cottonwood. And as you can see, I've got all the maneuverability in the world to move around. My bow can move just fine in the tree with me. And to take it a little farther, we're gonna shoot a couple arrows. I got a target set up over here. I'm gonna slip an arrow out the left side of the tree, and then I'm gonna turn and slide one right through this little V right here. Well, that one's money. Now we're gonna go right through this little crooked crotch in the tree right here. And that one's in there perfectly as well. Looks like a 35 inch axle to axle bow will perform just fine out of a tree stand. Well, there you have it. Pinpoint accuracy out of a gnarled tree stand. That sucker's less than straight and uh, the 35 inch axle to axle bow proved just fine as far as maneuverability and function were concerned. Well, we migrated from the tree stand to the ground blind and I hear a lot of the same things about how a longer axle to axle bow will hinder your success from a ground blind, that it isn't as maneuverable, that you won't have enough room. Here's the deal. I'm in my standard double bowl and I've got my Logic CT5 right here and I've got all the maneuverability and all the room that I want. And like a lot of you, I like to self film my turkey hunts. Sitting right out here, I've got a Reinhardt 3D target, and I've got all the time in the world and all the room in the world to reach over, grab my camera, spin it around when I'm self-filming, find my bird, zoom in on that bird just a touch, hook onto my D-loop, draw my bow, and deliver a really good, accurate arrow. Well, you can see from the GoPro footage that not once when I was drawn back on that turkey target did my elbow contact the back wall of the blind, did I have any trouble with maneuverability, and I delivered pretty accurate shots on about a 13, 13 yards, 14 yards away bird, which is exactly where I like to take my toms. That's where I like to set my decoys. And so uh, the longer axle to axle bow performed just fine. Well, there you have it, guys. Prime's Logic CT5, a 35 inch axle to axle bow performing perfectly out of a less than straight tree stand. And then we took it to the ground blind and it performed awesome in there as well. Here's the deal. Archery is meant to be a very fun sport. It's a very personal sport. And if a longer axle to axle bow feels good to you, shoot that bow. Don't listen to anybody telling you that it's not gonna work well out of a tree stand or out of a ground blind because it's gonna be hinder your maneuverability. It's not. I'm Jace Bosman. Thanks for checking out the video. More to come. <laughs>